Oh man, it's three fifty-six. Yes, it's it's it starts with a three that time. Sixty-three degrees and rising, and I am falling. Seven thirty meeting. No matter how hard I try, I can't get here earlier than seven thirty-three. Can't do it. Even if I make extra time available to myself, it never really gets eaten up by traffic or. And when I say traffic, I mean one guy in front of me who can't drive and won't let me by and doesn't know the rules about slower traffic, keep right, and when to turn and when to sit at the stoplight even though it's green. <sighs> but I was here early, and now I just want to die. The big question uh, when I get home, will I finally mow the lawn or will I immediately take a nap? <sighs> Leaning towards nap, but eh, I do have to mow the lawn. I don't know. It's going to be cold all week, so I could, I could wait. The only reason I have a flag pin on today is because I picked this shirt out last night and put the flag pin on then. That was part of me trying to give myself extra time. And I got up, I don't know, it was before 7, I'm pretty sure. I don't know where the time goes. It shouldn't take that long to do the morning routine, but, well, here comes the pain. So, it's, uh, did I forget to save that? I better save that. The biggest indicator that really I should go home was when I got kicked out of the knowledge base. So if I can't log into the knowledge base, not bad. Really, what's my point of being here? If I can't log into the knowledge base, what good am I? It's hard to do research when you can't log into the knowledge base. I know I'm repeating myself a lot, but that's because I'm tired. However, I did eat my uh, lunch, well, I had an instant lunch, and I had my V8, I look kind of like a normal time, so, so that's good, because I know we were keeping track of that. I got off on a tangent about football yesterday, and what I meant to say was I didn't even watch most of the football because I watched the NASCAR race, and I don't know why, because the NASCAR race was just really mostly boring because but it was race one of the chase so it was exciting but congratulations to Brad K for making sure we wouldn't have to hear about uh, oh what's his face and the other what's his butt and that other annoying douchebag at least for a week uh oh it's four o'clock my watch is now at a point where when it beeps it, it goes dim or maybe not. It was fooling me. Hmm. Also on my wrist, you can tell it's 81 and a half degrees, so. The watch that ate my wrist. Nautica. Did I ever tell you the story how I bought this shirt? I was in Ontario, California at the Ontario Mills Outlet Mall. And I was at the Nautica store, and I paid 30 bucks for this shirt. I think it was 30 bucks, and I bought another shirt, also a rugby shirt, which I think I still have, and which the button actually stays buttoned on. This is one of the few shirts I have, whoops, gosh, it must be almost 20 years old, not bad, uh, but it's a large. It's one of the few shirts I have that doesn't have an X in its size that I wear regularly. Probably has something to do with, I don't know, my, my massive neck, I guess, is what keeps this thing straining and struggling and always trying to untie itself. Also, the fact that the buttonhole is, like, enlarged over the years. I'm boring myself. Really, I am glad you keep watching, but I know I'm not making it worth your while lately, and uh, uh, I really need to do something about that. Uh, what can I do? How about the orb? 
the battery's still good? Oh. Oh, that's sad. It's kind of how I feel. Now I can't turn it off. What else can I play with? I can show you the Rubik's Cube, which I'm scared to touch. Because I'd have to take it apart. It's actually not a real Rubik's Cube, it's an ad for CDW.com, but I picked it up at a trade show. Ah, trade shows. You don't go to a lot of those in Minnesota. I think the most swag I get is when Symantec puts on an event and invites people over, and then I take stuff that isn't meant for me. For instance, it's a semantic tape measure for measuring viruses, I guess. Hey, here's an EXO thing with the old EXO logo. It's a it's a it's a yo yo, except you spell yo with an X. No, I remember we were talking about EXO although I don't remember why or the context. It really doesn't matter. Uh, I don't know. I got nothing. So I'm way behind because I had to go to sleep or try to go to sleep so I could wake up early today. So raw captions, I'll try to get to them today. Today I at work, don't tell anybody I posted during work, but I did catch up on the free MP3s. And I downloaded a couple albums worth of stuff, and then I ended up in conference calls and didn't get to listen to any of them. Don't you feel sorry for me when I have to be on conference calls instead of listening to music? Not even good music, just music in general. I bring this up because I, for the life of me, I have no idea. I'm killing time. Here's a Symantec toolkit. It opens up very slowly. Wow. And then it stands up, um, like that, sort of. And then you drop uh, screwdrivers everywhere. Man, get it together, man. How wise is it to be running a lawnmower? Something that could very well cut your arm off. Running it while you're fatigued while under the influence of drowsiness. I don't know, maybe the caffeine will help, though. It's also possible it's been raining all day, although sure hasn't looked like it. I don't think it rained at all at my house, but then when I got to Roseville, the roads were wet and the parking lots were wet and the cars in the lot were wet, so somehow I just missed it. Uh... Speaking of concentric, the internet revolves around you. The internet does revolve around me, at least at CRZNet. If you want to see what else I did today and forgot to tell you about, I try to live my life online. Stock myself so you don't have to. All that's logged at CRZ.net. Uh, Yep, 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 dot net. I'll do a quick check. I really don't think uh, anybody said anything from yesterday's video, but I will check. Oh, that does remind me. I think Doug had one more question. No problems have been found on my laptop. Thank you, Lenovo Think Advantage Toolbox. Doug had a question that I failed to answer. Let me knock that off. It was... What was the worst gum you can ever remember chewing? Ah, with the gum. Um, I was not a big fan of blackjack when they brought it back. That was not a flavor I wanted in my gum. Curiously, I got into the clove, which I didn't think I would, but the clove gum was all right. But the blackjack, not so much. And then there was that honey one. No, nah, it was okay. But yeah, blackjack... Don't need no licorice gum. And with that, somehow we've made it through another 10 minutes. I'm very sorry. Come back tomorrow and it can't help but be better, right?